overall results, I think 8%, 26 billion rand sales, would be affected negatively by rand dollar because the rand actually strengthened in 2021. We saw high ammonia prices, which also sort of probably offset that in dollar terms. But generally, uh, the, the rand was up in terms of revenue, which was quite pleasing. So we saw volume start to come back in a lot of the sectors. And EBITDA was up. The profit from operations was way up, but you must take into account that impairment that we took in the previous year. 1,116 cents is obviously HEPs. But I think from that, most importantly, we also declared 505 cents dividend. So I think that's an increase in about 20% year on year if you take the total dividend paid in the first six months and obviously the second six months. So we still want to reward shareholders. Through the numbers, what we can see on a reported basis, we actually 8.8% up on uh, versus last year on EBITDA. Uh, 20% on, on profitability and about 26% on HEPs. Last year's accounts were impacted by some abnormal adjustments other than just the COVID that we are talking about. So last year we had some impairments of goodwill, which was about 821 million related solely to, to the much asphalt uh, write-off of goodwill. And the balance came off out of the project optimum uh, that we drove, where we had actually written off and written down some of the assets and goodwill. What I want you to remember, last year we did say that we lost about, and we estimated this loss, about 500 million rands worth of COVID losses that we had brought through. So just bearing that in mind, if you take that into account, we probably short of about 150 million rand. That's where we haven't caught up on our returns.